Grade 7 Math, number 9.1a, Parts of a Circle. What is a circle? Well, it's more than just a round thing. A circle is a set of points in a plane that are a fixed dif distance from a point, the center of the circle in the plane. So it's a set of points that are a fixed distance from the center, like this. There could be many, many points making the circle depending on how big we draw each point and how big we draw the circle. I could have used a very fine tipped pencil and I could have put a lot more points in here. But I used a fat marker so it doesn't look like I had as many. And I could have made the circle much bigger. That would have made a lot more points. But each one of these points is the same distance from the center as the next one. So think of a circle as millions of tiny little points that are the same distance from this center point and there's so many millions of points that they're crowded together and they sort of look like they're making a line that makes the circle. But a circle is actually an infinite number of points that are the same distance from the center, okay? They're exactly the same distance. That point is the same distance as that point, okay? All right, so there's four main parts to the circle that we're gonna talk about. There's the circumference, the radius, the diameter, and the center point. You can see that the center point's right here in the center. That makes sense, doesn't it? It's the center point. All right, well, the radius, this orange guy right here, is a line segment right here. And its endpoint is at the center. And the other endpoint is on the line. It's on the circle. And it equals half the diameter. See? Its length is called the radius of a circle. Now, the diameter, this lime green guy, is a line segment that passes through the center point and has endpoints on the edges of the circle, the circumference, see? It's twice the length of the radius and its length is called the diameter of the circle. So a radius is half of a diameter, see that? And a diameter is two radii, see? The circumference of a circle is the distance around this outside edge. That's the circumference. If we double the radius, the circumference will double. If we have a two inch radius and we double it to a four inch one, the circumference will just become double its measure. It's the same thing as if we double the diameter because the diameter goes all the way across, right? So if we have a four inch diameter and we double it to an eight inch diameter, well, that's the same thing as we just did the two inch and the four inch radii. See, same thing. The circumference will double. But when we start talking about the area, the space inside the circle, well, that's a whole different story. If we double the radius or diameter, the area is gonna quadruple. And we'll talk about that in number 9.2. So those are the four main parts that we're gonna talk about. The circumference, the radius, the diameter, and that center point. As we get farther into geometry, we're going to discover a lot more about circles. There's so many parts to a circle. The tangent is an outside line that touches it at one point. A secant is a line that goes through it and touches it at two points. A chord is sort of like the diameter, except he's on the edge and he doesn't go through the center circle, see? A central angle has its vertex on the center point, and an inscribed angle has its vertex on the edge of the outside. And then there's arcs. There's a bunch of arcs here. See? You can have a major arc and a minor arc. So there's so many different parts to a circle. You just need to worry about four. Circumference, radius, diameter, and center point. Okay? I'm going to talk about the circumference in our next video. I'm going to talk about how to find it and how to use it to help us. Okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.